Welcome back to the RipeWave Audio community. My name is John, and for this video, we continue our RipeWave Audio series on home theater amplifiers in 2022, and this one is for Stark Sound. And of course, this continues our series, which began with Monolith by Monoprice and continued with Emotiva, Tone Winner, IOTA VX, Outlaw Audio, ATI Amplifier Technologies, OSD, NAD, Marantz, Yamaha, Onkyo Integra, Rotel, Arcam JBL Synthesis, Audio Control, Anthem, and this one, our 16th video in the series for Stark Sound. Now, Stark Sound started in 2009, and I believe in California, and their purpose was to create really high quality multi channel for home theater. And, you know, from a lot of our listeners here, and I wasn't aware of Stark Sound, uh, to be honest, but uh, those uh, that are writing in on the community said, you got to cover Stark Sound, and I can see why these are good quality amplifiers. And they start with the Fiera 4 at $1,500, and they work all its way up to the A2640 at $8,900. And of course, we'll cover everything in between the Fiera 8, the A8, and the A7 uh, amplifiers in this uh, video today. So let's begin with the Fiera 4. Now, this is one of their new models introduced this year in 2022, one of the few new amplifiers that we see hitting the market. And as I said, this is for $1,499. This is a four-channel amplifier and is one of the two Class D models that they have in their portfolio. Now, the uh, front of this is very simple, as we see most of the amplifiers from all brands, you know, just a simple green uh, vertical light in the center with the power button. But you turn it around the back, you see the uh, balanced and unbalanced channels that are here. And we can see that uh, the outputs are bridgeable. So you can take these four channels down to two uh, and, and get a little more power out of this amplifier for those applications. Now we don't have a great photo of the interior of the Fiera 4, but we at least have a photo. And you can see that there's the uh, digital modules that are in here on the left-hand side. The power supply is kind of nice that it's all enclosed in its own, uh, own enclosure within the enclosure, kind of keeping that isolated a bit inside of it. This is the interior of this Class D amplifier, which is rated at 130 watts per channel. Now, moving up to the 8-channel model, the Fiera 8, and sells for $500 more at $1,999 and is also 130 watts per channel, Class D. Now, the front of it is exactly the same, but when you turn it around the back, the layout is a little different to fit in all those 8 channels, and we do not have an interior shot of the 8-channel the model uh, and the four channel look kind of full, but I, I'm wondering if uh, they do this a little different and they, they stack it up a second layer is, is my guess there and take two more of those modules. It looks like each module is handling uh, two channels. So that would give you, you had four of those modules that were uh, in the four channel model uh, and you, just, you, you put those, then you'd have eight. So that's my guess there probably using the same model. So this was also introduced this year in 2022. So this Fiera line of Class D amplifiers is brand new for Stark Sound. Moving up now to the A8350, this is an eight channel model as its name suggests as A8 and it sells for $5,200 and was introduced two years ago in 2020. Now, unlike the Fiera models, this is a class A, A, B amplifier. It's delivering 200 watts per channel. The uh, front of it is very similar to the Fiera models, but it does have this silver horizontal bar 
towards the bottom, uh, intersecting the power button in the, in the center here. And on the back, we can see that it supports both balanced and unbalanced connections, which is uh, switchable there. Uh, again, the images we get from Stark Sound are not very clear off their website and literature. So uh, I did get a blow up of the right hand side there. You can see that the, it has triggers in and out and you can select whether you're gonna use the triggers uh, or not. We do have, again, a blurry photo of the interior. You can see that this is using uh, cooling fins on the exterior here uh, for the amplifier sections. In the, in the center, you've got all your capacitors and your power supply. That is part of this. Uh, so this is not a modular type design as, as we see in some of these high channel count amplifiers. Now the A7 uh, is available in three channel counts. This is modular type design. So you can get it as a two channel, a three channel, or a seven channel. They're all rated at 240 watts per channel. These are class A, AB. It will work in class A operations and switch up to AB once it crosses a threshold. These models were introduced in 2017 and its cosmetics match that of the A8 model. We don't have a square on a back shot of the A7, but you can see its, its layout here it supports both balanced and unbalanced connections and has those input output triggers. Uh, they do show a blow up of the connectors, a nice uh, high quality um, metal, uh, looks like metallic looking uh, connectors on the back of the A7480. They do have interior shots on this. Now they label each one of these modules as monoblocks in themselves that lift up. And I did find a, a picture of one of these modules pulled out and it does show that they have their own heat sinks as well as a fan. It does look kind of cool in there with the neat packaging of each one of these modules. Uh, you know, it almost look as good with the cover off uh, type of situation. Now moving on to the top of the line model, the A2640. This sells for $8,900. This is a two channel flagship. This is a brand new model for 2022. It delivers 320 watts per channel uh, for a class A, B uh, amplification, uh, but also has that class A mode for the first uh, uh, few watts there. Unlike the other models, the A2 comes in silver and supports both balanced and unbalanced connections. It doesn't appear that there's an ability to use bridgeable outputs. Looking inside the A2, we can see this is very well built with dual uh, toroidal power supplies, uh, large capacitors, and uh, all this for two channels. So this is very well built and one would expect so at this price point of $8,900. Looking at these side by side, you can see the really three styles of design here, the Fiera uh, 8 and 4. You know, look the same, have the same size chassis. The A8 uh, and the A7 are very similar, although the A7 is a taller chassis uh, and is that more modular design. And of course, the A2 stands apart being the only silver model. Turning around these to the back, you can uh, see how all the connections are made, that these all support balanced and unbalanced connections. They do all have the tr trigger inputs and outputs and have removable power cord uh, connectors. And then for those that we have interior shots, although uh, varying quality, uh, you can see the differences here. The, the Fiera 4 obviously being a class D looking a lot different and the A7 being that modular design, the only one that is modular in, the, uh, in its concept. Now on to the specifications. Now we can see that the Fiera 4 and 8 share some commonality in its uh, specs here. It has a uh, input impedance of 10 kilo ohms for unbalanced, 20 kilo ohms for balanced connection. It has a input sensitivity of 2.7 volts on those models. Now, when you move to the A8, 
uh, we've got a uh, input impedance of 100 kilo ohms for unbalanced, 200 kilo ohms for balance, with a input insensitivity of 2.4 volts. Now the A7 and the A2 also have an input sensitivity of 2.4 volts. Uh, the uh, input impedance is a 105 kilo ohms uh, for unbalance and 210 kilo ohms for balance. And this continues for, uh, yes, the uh, A7 and the A2 have that same input impedance. Now the cost per channel varies widely here. Obviously, the Fiera 4 and 8 have been introduced into their portfolio to uh, have a lower cost per channel. So these come at the lowest price at $250 per channel for the 8-channel model, and the 4-channel model is $375. So these will compete with the likes of Emotiva and Monoprice uh, at this price point. Next up is the A8350 that comes in at $650 per channel. And then the A7487 channel model, which is $1,129. Now, if you go all the way up in the A7 platform, now, if you look at the two channel models, you don't get the uh, economy of scales with the A7480, and that's $1,800 per channel. And the flagship A2640, as at the highest price point at $4,450. And we can see the A7, A8, and A2 are all class A, AB amplifiers where the Fiera 4 and 8 are class D. Now the neat thing about the class A, AB models is they're all fully balanced. And we don't see a lot of fully balanced amplifiers out there on the market. And if that interests you, these, these are worth uh, looking at. Now, the gains that they published are uh, surprisingly among the lower gains that we see out there uh, in all the brands we've seen so far. The Fiera 4 and 8 is only 21.5 decibels, and the A8350 is 26 decibels, as well as the A2640 flagship, only again at 26 decibels. They do not publish the gain for the A7. On the load impedance, their minimum impedance, this is the first we're seeing low impedance below one ohm. They're on the Fiera models of 0.8 ohms. They're listing on the A8, 0.12 ohms, and point on the A7, 0.013 ohms, and the A2, 0.1 ohms. And they'll all go up to handle eight ohm loads. None of these have a line output. Now looking at the power output, the Fiera series is 130 watts into 8 ohms and 260 watts into 4 ohm loads. The A8 is 200 watts and 350 watts into 4 ohms. The A7 is, regardless of the channel count, is 240 watts per channel at 8 ohms and 480 watts into 4 ohms. The flagship A2 is 320 watts into 8 ohm loads and 640 watts into 4 ohm loads. Now the Fiera 4 is the only one that has bridgeable outputs. So you can bridge two of the channels to uh, create uh, 450 watts for 2 ohm loads. Now I don't know why they don't specify it for 4 uh, or 8 ohm loads uh, for the bridge mode but they do give you a two ohm load rating. And perhaps they only want you to use that with uh, low impedance speakers. They measured this at one kilohertz and they have a low total harmonic distortion of 0.05%. They're consistent on how they measure these. We mentioned that the A8, A7, and A2 are all class A up to a certain point, then they automatically switch over to class AB. So what is that point? Now they do this at a for all load impedances. So a two, four, and an eight uh, ohm loads. Uh, this is the same cutoff point regardless of the load. So on the A8, that cutoff point is 50 watts, so class A up to 50 watts on the A8. 
on the A7, it's 30 watts. So whether that's the two, three, or seven channel model. And then on the A2, it's at 65 watts. So the A2, their flagship, gives you the most class A uh, capability, up to 65 watt uh, on that model. The signal to noise varies. So on the Fiera 4 and 8, it's 110 decibels. On the A8, 113. On the A7, 115 decibels. And the flagship A2 at 116 decibels. On to the dimensions. You know, you've got the Fiera series at the slimmest, that's 5.5 inches, 140 millimeters. Then the A8 is the next tallest at 9 inches, three, 230 millimeters. The A7 models are all 8. The A7 models are all 11 inches tall, 280 millimeters. And the A2 is a little slimmer than that at 7.6 inches, 195 millimeters. Uh, they all uh, range around 17. 0.2 to 17.7 uh, inches wide, although the A2 is listed at 16.1. I don't know why that one's so much narrower than the others. That's 410 millimeters, so a little slimmer than normal there. Uh, the depth on these, the Fiera models are the slim, uh, is not as deep at 13.4 inches, 340 millimeters. The A8 is at 18.1. 18.1 inches, 460 millimeters. The A7 at 17.9 inches, 455 millimeters. And the A2 at 17.7 inches, 450 millimeters. The Class D models are the lightest at 19 and 21.8 pounds, or 8.6 and 9.9 kilograms. The A8 model comes in at 74.9 pounds, 37.5 kilograms. Now the A7 they list at 140 pounds, 63.5 kilograms, regardless of the number of modules, but we would doubt that the two channel and three channels weigh as much as the fully populated A7. So we're just gonna say those are less than those amounts. And the A2 640 comes in at 81.5 pounds, 37 kilograms. These all have removable IEC power cords. They all support either 120 or 240 volts, but you have to determine that because that is, that is determined at the factory. So when you purchase it, you've got to pick the right voltage. The Fiera are all switch mode power supplies. Other models are toroidal, and the A8 has two toroids, and the A2640 has uh, two toroids, large ones. The power consumption on these range from 1500 watts up to 3200 watts, depending on the model. And the standby power on the Fiera models are 12 watts, which is, which is pretty high for a standby mode, versus the other ones are under three and a half watts. Of course, this A7 and A2 are the most efficient in standby, at that which are under a watt. They do not publish slew rate, crosstalk, or damping. They do have fans on the A7 models, uh, one for each of the channels. And that wraps up our overview of Stark Sound. Now, what do you think of Stark Sound? Are you, have you been aware of this uh, brand? And uh, what do you think of them? Are you concerned that their uh, gain, their gains uh, that they're achieving with these are not quite as high as what we see from other brands that are typically up around 28 decibels and these are, are much lower than that. At, at, uh, so is that a problem, uh, do you feel? Uh, these are certainly well-built and well-respected uh, amplifiers out there. And uh, you know, how do you think they compare with its peers? That feedback would be useful to the RipeWave audio community. 
And if you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. And of course, you always have that option to go on to www.patreon.com slash ripewave. And the address is right there on the screen. And this is where you can get a hold of this presentation as well as all our data. So you can do kind of your own comparison with the spreadsheet that we have with all the models that we've covered uh, in these 16 videos. And of course, hit that bell icon so you'll be notified of the next video. And until the next video, keep evolving your audio experience.